I want to have something profound to say. But I don't. <laughs> right down there that's first year parking and then you hike up this hill every single day and when it's raining you get flooded and so I'd often walk the rain when it was raining I'd walk barefoot so that my socks wouldn't get soaked for the whole day but if they did I have a trick for that you just go to the bathroom and like dry them in the hand dryer <laughs> so most of my classes were on west campus but the weird art classes were on east campus and so we'd have to walk here early in the morning and then walk across to our classes on that side which would take about 15 minutes but you only had 10 minutes between classes so <laughs> we'd run but on the days when we didn't have to run to class we'd stop for some coffee at Zesties I try to give everything like a Hogwarts nickname while I was here. And this is called the screaming or the howling robots because when it's green for people to go, it screams at you. And that's for the blind students or people who are too busy on their phones to know when the robots are green. There you go. Welcome to West Campus, where most of my classes happen, except they don't happen in the wide, beautiful view of the old buildings that we see before us. No, they happen the basement. Okay, see. I wanted to study film and television because, well, I didn't really know what I wanted to study when I was applying, but the application portfolio that we had to do for film was super exciting. It included so many of my favorite things, writing, analyzing, photography, and I thought, wow, this degree would give me access to so many avenues of creativity. So this is the film department in all of its glory and by glory I mean averageness. These were some of the photos from my first year. Mine obviously didn't make it to the wall. There's quite a lot of old stuff in here that is like pretty cool if you're into like with the word be relics. <laughs> in here is one of the studios which you could use for shooting projects. There are people in there, but it's not that exciting, it's just a hall. <laughs> the computer lab where we sort of get taught to use Photoshop and Premiere Pro, um, only to find out that those programs were stolen by our lecturers and not actually paid for despite our enormous tuition fees. This is just really symbolic of my experience here. I wanted to study film and I wanted it to be at a place that I could be proud to call my school, um, a place that I'd be proud to be a part of forever. And I wanted it to be magical in a sense. Like my dream is to work for Warner Bros who created Harry Potter and that's what studying film represented to me. The ability to be able to go and create worlds that don't exist and have people be a part of them. That's just not what I got here. At the end of first year, I was seriously unhappy and my anxiety went through the roof. I was not sleeping, I was losing hair. I would call my grand to come and fetch me from school quite often because I just was having such bad panic attacks. At the end of first year I was I was gonna quit. 
I job shadowed on a shoot at the end of my first year. And it just reminded me of how much I love. And I, I was just so like, yes, I want to do this. I want to be in film. I want to create things. I want to be around people who create things and tell stories through the camera. So in second year, I tried really hard, but by mid-second year, I was really, really unhappy. I left my final exams crying and considering dropping out. I <laughs> really went on like a hunt to try and maybe transfer universities because at that point I'd been on a few shoots and I knew I loved film but I just wasn't happy here so I went okay if I can't do it if I can't change if this is what I'm stuck with if this is where God has me I have to make the most of it after I finished second year I decided I wanted to learn to love learning again I threw myself into YouTube I went into third year with so much excitement for filmmaking. Three months into that, we went into nationwide and it's a national wide lockdown. In my last two years of my degree, I came to this campus twice. Everything else I did was online and for a practical degree that just meant I didn't get any practical experience which I had already felt a severe lack of in my first two years um, and so yeah it just wasn't looking good. My, one of my life goals was to finish my degree well and I think it's taken me so long to just do anything like fetch my certificates or talk about it because I didn't get to do that and I feel like I failed. My final year was so hard um, and I knew it was going to be getting married <laughs> right before my final exams and assignments but it was just so unnecessarily hard and being all online had... Wow, there's just an alarm going off in the middle of my... Monologue. My emotional... Monologue. In my final year though, um, I did produce some of my favourite academic pieces, things that I'm really proud of, and I'm proud to give to people who supported me on my journey. Uh, yes, cost of living. My little bit of something to say thanks for all your support in my degree. Yeah, you're most welcome. What is it? It's my favorite script that I wrote. Fantastic. To say thank you for all of your help during my degree. Oh my goodness. Look at the second page. Oh, sweetheart. I'm proud to have written and to have been able to think like that. And I think that doing that work really shaped me to being who I am. I think now I'm at the point where I'm like, despite that, I want to do something great and I want to create great films and tell stories despite my degree. And that's really sad because it could have been great. And I'm sure for some people it was great. I'm just not one of those people. I just wanted it to be something more than it was and it pains me because I feel like my degree actually isn't worth anything um, and I spent four years of my life <laughs> working towards it. But I did it, so... Okay, bye. Particularly at an institution that is celebrating its centenary, right? So I'm grateful for you to taking this picture because it's a historical one, right? It's a picture like no other. It's a picture of leadership par excellence, leadership of no good. So thank you so much for this great work of uh, creating proper account of history. <laughs> and you are a very good uh, human being. And thank you for your kindness, humility what you've done for me, do it for as many people. You will receive blessings that are unimaginable in, in the true sense of the word. My name is Mafule Muswani. It was an absolute privilege and complete pleasure.